Hey everyone, we're still here on Tolan, um, and we decided to codex the Bari today. Um, and I still have the daily hut 35 Bari um, mission that resets after one hour. So like you turn it into the mission terminal um, that's on the inside of all these little cities. And you can re-get this mission after a one hour cool off. Um, the mission I'm going to grab from Ferris here, or Ferris, I don't know, I'm bad with names. I think we've already established this. Um, he's going to give us a kill 100, um, and it has a 23 hour reset time. Um, and so it is a true daily, where the other ones, if you are really dedicated, I guess you kill 35, let it reset for an hour, come back, kill 35 more. I'm not that dedicated. We're going to, uh, we're just going to kill straight through, kill 100 real fast. Um, hopefully that will give us a codex up. Um, the 35 Bari will give us a perception bonus. And the 100 Bari, when we wrap that up, will give us a uh, evade bonus. And so we're going to actually triple dip on some of these, uh, so to speak. And because I don't really feel like running. Let's see if I can find my teleportation ship. There it is. And we're just going to teleport. Um, pretty close to where these Bari are. And we're going to hunt some of the lower level ones, like level 5 to 8, I think. And if I remember right, they're kind of in this area. So let's just jump right there. That ought to get us really close. Looks like I missed my jump a little bit. That's all right. Let's grab a put our weapon on it, and uh, let's cruise down the coastline here a little bit. And we should, uh, yeah, right there they are. So we're going to use the loot pill. We'll use this skill pill. And we're just going to lay waste to some stuff. Hopefully we can get a global. Right? That's always the hope. Big global. Something nice in it. Uh, we're going to be trying for some Bari skin. Um, or one of the other rare drops that's used in the furniture that they have on this planet. And we're going to hope to spawn some of those blueprints um, later run in that um, basic uh, butt joint. And you're going to get a bunch of muscle oil. Um, I forget what drops the eye oil on this planet. Um, but you could do some uh, simple one conductors if that's your thing. Um, you get too close, obviously you're going to get a bunch on you. Um, I'm just using pixie armor with some uh, 2A plates. Uh, so I'll stop, have to stop and heal every little bit, probably. Um, but yeah, I know the Bari skin goes into some of the furniture blueprints. Um, and there's something else off the Bari that goes into... Oh, there's a global right out the gate. Nice. Uh, too bad it's all shrapnel, but nah, we'll take it. We like it. Globals. Ching. Trumpet. Everyone loves the trumpet. And these aren't too expensive to kill. I started with 200 ped in ammo today. Um, and we'll see if I have any left over. I expect it to take kind of in the... Oh, there's the Bari Claw. That's the other thing that gets used in uh, the, some of the carpentry and furniture blueprints is that claw. And so that's cool that we got one. Um, they're a little rare. We'll 
we'll kind of head over more towards this bigger grouping. Um, I'm just going to work down the coast um, and then kind of back up. Um, just so we don't have to run too far. Kind of have a little bit of a constant kill going on. Mm -hmm. Might get a, a codex out by the time we finish these 100. Um, we'll shoot for a, one codex out. Oh, there's another claw. That's good. We'll have to check the markup on them, but in the past they've had good markup. Um, and I'm not sure if it's just because uh, the people like the furniture that was being crafted, um, or if it was just kind of a speculation drive up on the the markup. Let's take a quick look. Uh, I mean, before it was in the 400 percent, it's down to the 250 percent. That's still pretty reasonable markup. Um, we'll have to get a small stack before we're able to offload them, but or I guess uh, if I get the blueprint, maybe we make ourselves a carpet. Cross our bridge when we get there. I see there's one kind of behind me too. We'll just step back. Oh, they're Akron all over the place. Might have to stop and heal in a sec. Oh. That's kind of a bigger one, so to speak. Oh, and poor. I was kind of hoping that he'd be a little uh, not broke, basically. He was broke. And I should have hotkeyed this weapon, but I didn't. So hopefully I don't have to stop and heal too often. I'm not really currently using an amp. Uh, I could have put on a scope or so. The Fari hide there, That's that'll be used in some carpentry as well, I'm sure. So it kind of looks like these drops have kind of gone up since the last time I was here. The last time I was on Tolan, they had just kind of revamped the hide and um, skins and, I, I guess, peripheral loop for lack of a better term, on uh, a bunch of the monsters. And so I wasn't getting uh, any of the hides or anything that I was traditionally getting um, prior to that. Um, but it looks like they've kind of fine-tuned that in a little bit and up the drop rate, which is going to be good for the furniture market. Um, I don't know who all is in that. Sol, Sol has that uh, furniture dealing apartment. Or a store on Rocktopia, so I'm sure that's he's he's happy to not have to pay quite so much for the hides to make some of the stuff. I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. Maybe he doesn't even notice. We're starting to close in on uh, the first 35 done, which is kind of like the one-third mark. I actually don't think that 100 is going to be enough for us to codex. Let's take a 
get a fair amount of muscle oil in it. That'll be good. I think I'll, I might try to make some uh, simple oil conductors if I uh, find something for the eye oil. And I think the Jeef, I don't know if it's the Jockier ones or the, the Cockier ones, the, the Q. Um, but I'm pretty sure one of the two of them drops the eye oil. I've got eye oil here before, and so I know it drops. Um, I'll just have to, well, I'm going to codex enough stuff. I'll find it. Um, plan on doing a small codex on, on most of the the other monsters, except for the the Wahish ones. I have no no intention of going whale hunting underwater. That sounds like a horrible idea. And they hit hard. Expensive to kill. Basically, they're a little outside my uh, current skill zone. Um, so we're gonna try and skip those. But uh. Everything else we're going to hit. Um, and if we're still here at the end of the, not, the month, we might um, visit that. They have a event at the end of every month on Tolan. And if we're still here, um, we might check it out. Well, there's the first 35 done. So we're about one third of the way in. Got one global so far. Got a little bit of... Uh, Furniture making loot. Well, we like those basic leather extractors as well. They're used in the tab tab texture. Um, but traditionally, they've always had a pretty good uh, markup. Anywhere from 130 all the way up to 200% markup, depending on uh, the win of when you were looking at it. I think right now they're still sitting in that 150-ish zone, and so that's still a commendable markup. I don't know, a little bit of paint. I should get a paint tool just to work up that, that skill just to kind of round me out, so to speak. I heard some people complain about the height and um, and drops of the Tolan specific loot, um, but maybe I'm just having a good sample right now. But it doesn't seem to be as bad as people were making it out to be. Of course, what I like more, of course. Um, it has higher markup, so obviously you want more of it, but that markup is driven um, basically by two things, right? The demand of the item, of whatever is getting dropped, so like oil or whatever, and then conversely, the supply of the item, how much is getting dropped at, in a given time period. So if it's super rare, it's going to be... Uh, More expensive. Scarcity drives price. And so we're just shooting right down this zone right here. Um, and we'll find Bowery all the way to that, uh, where that three was on my map. Which is where they marked for the, hey, if you want to hunt these, you check out this area. Um, but the further we go across, you'll notice they're starting to get higher level. You start to see more level 8s, 9s. Um, 
and less of these like fives and sixes. More purples, less reds. Oh, now I'm getting swarmed a little bit. Bummer. Just bummer because my armor will take a little bit of decay. It's literally the only bummer. I might have to heal. About halfway done. I'm really digging on Tolan a little bit. I mean, the scenery's nice. Um, I like that it's a lot of uh, the smaller mobs um, for people that like can't hunt level 40, 50, 60 things. Um, there's a lot of this like level 4 to 10 zone stuff um, for your early or mid game hunter. Um, it's it's kind of nice. But a lot of the other planets focused more on the big spenders. Um, and this one it has more of a, a mid zone feel to it. Don't get me wrong. We like the high-end hunting zones as well. Everyone loves Cyrene. That place is amazing. Um, but, one, you don't necessarily want to hunt in that high-end zone all the time. Um, just for enjoyment. And, and two, a lot of these players have to start somewhere. And so having something like this to really give them some enjoyment and be able to hunt somewhere that's not basically Glypso um, for like some lower zone and the rewards are really good here. Um, there's a lot of daily missions, like I've shown here, like with that kill 35, the kill 100, um, on top of the codex. And there's a kill mission for, I believe, every monster. Um, and some have two. Like this Bari. Um, I think the Kafesh, the flying imp-looking things, um, I believe they have a daily out of South Pit and the mission daily. And so they have like a dodge daily plus whatever their mission one is. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head right now. Um, but it allows you to double dip those daily missions. And then on top of that, oh, and we'll occasionally find you'll find a little bit of fruit. You notice the fruit drops are smaller on Tolan though. Like it's common to see 12, 20, um, and on some of the other planets, like Calypso, it's usually like 30, 50, up to 100, maybe some higher than that even. I don't do a lot of fruit walking. Um, I just collect it here and there when I'm out doing other things. Props to anyone who can walk in a straight line for that long. Um, you are definitely motivated. Props to you. Got any real good hits since that global, which eh, not a big deal. We're gonna be focusing on this codex and uh, the skills we're getting um, more so than returns. Um, I expect to take a little bit of a loss on every hunt I do on Tolan. Um, it's a small planet. Um, that just is kind of how it works when there's not very many um, hands in the pot, so to speak. And we're going to turn around and kind of head back up the beach um, the way we came and get these last uh, 34. Or so. If we're real close to that codex, I, I think we'll kill a few extra just to, to round it out and see what reward they're willing to give us this time around.
But in any event, with that 20 peg global right out the gate, um, we should be in the zone of break even, I wouldn't expect today, um, especially with the, some of the claws and the hide um, and whatnot that we got. All that stuff has a reasonable markup. Everything else we got has some markup. Um, obviously, the animal oil, really low markup. 100 point something, probably. Um, if you find someone to buy it on Toland. Um, the market's doing a lot better on Toland. Um, it's still not super amazing, um, but it has definitely uh, shown a lot of improvement since the first time I landed on the planet. Which has been years ago, by the way. Um, but it's definitely looking a lot better. There's guns in the marketplace. There's all sorts of other stuff in the marketplace. Oh, starting a wave. I wonder what wave they think we're in. I wonder if someone uh, did that coffish, uh, or the Jeep Zahar one that's kind of by down over here. I wonder if someone got in there. about broke this gun which is cool because i got this gun on as a drop on sirene when i was there um and i didn't really feel like offloading it so uh, i just decided i was going to burn it out um for the laser skill and so once we break this we'll switch over to our uh, pyro chip and finish out we got about 28 to go we're not going to let this stop us Not when we're so close. And so we, we like that perception reward on the kill 35. Because um, it's going to go into our looting profession. My perception is getting up there a little bit right now. Um, I think I'm in the 4000 zone. Um, but every little bit helps. Um, as you can see, I'm a level 35 animal looter now. Um, and I definitively say every little bit helps. The skinning is, is the main driver of that skill or that profession. Um, but the perception and the peripheral uh, skills that you get from tree hunting and whatnot uh, add up real fast. They're 15 ish percent, I think, when it's all said and done. I think like zoology is four, analysis is like four. Um, Biology is like three, um, anatomy factors into it, the perception factors in, and you'll get that hunting and on the tree cutting. Big fan of that. Big fan of the skills you get tree hunting. Um, and I'll, I'll throw a video up on that. Um, oh, we broke it with 23 to go. Like I said, we're not letting that stop us. Switch into the pyro chip. We're finishing out strong here. We want our kill 100. We're under 10% to the codex rank. We're getting swarmed. It doesn't even matter. Let's keep. We're just going to keep churning them out. Then I'll take the armor off and, and die probably. Once we get our 27, there's no point in taking the decay for no reason. Unless we need the, oh, a couple extra kills for the codex. doesn't look like we will. I do love the range on the pyro chips. Oh yeah, Jeep got her concourse down a little bit. That was that one over there by that um, waypoint I showed you guys on the map. Um, and so because I flew over it at one point, and somehow triggered it and thought I was still in the wave. And so someone else passed through it or something to that effect. Um, and so sometimes you'll get a message like that when that happens. And 
can see that's that same thing. So someone's over there starting the wave of it or hitting the edge of it. Sometimes tree cutters will cut in there because there's a couple of harvestable trees on the edge. Oh, there's some eye oil. So these Bari dropped the eye oil. Um, maybe on the higher level ones. I think that was a level six or seven. I know I've been getting some uh, muscle oil, so. And that'll give us a little bit of both. And uh, it'll give us the option to make those simple one conductors later on. Um, if we still desire to. Oh, he almost killed me there. I switched and healed at the exact last second I could have. All right. Got 11 to go. Oh, we'll for sure get that Bobby Codex out before we... Uh, Finish up here on this kill 100. Eight to go. Let's turn around. Kill these ones over here. Circle around a little bit. That'll probably be our eight. There's our challenge rank up. We'll see what uh, skill we'll get to select here. Um, when we go do the turn in and claim the other two skills, we'll, uh, we'll select a skill for that one as well. And then every five um, challenge skill ups like that, you'll see this attribute challenge, um, and that allows you to t select a attribute boost. Um, and what I keep my eye on for is stamina. Um, I always try to get that boosted up a little bit. It seems to be the hardest to boost. Um, the rest you can boost through dually stuff. Oh, boom, there's 120, 130 pad global right there. That's a great way to end this run. Um, we're going to kill this one. We're going to kill this one. We're going to take that 130 pad global to end this run and be super excited about it. Um... So let's, uh, I'm just going to back down here. I think we can just teleport over there. And so we're super, super stoked about that. Everyone loves big global, especially right as you're about to wrap up a hunt. Boom, and we're going to teleport off. Let's go claim these skills. We're going to get two skill-ups there. I'm going to take that challenge skill up. 
That's three skill ups. We know we're getting perception for the the bar thirty five barry. Oh, this this is gonna be two teleport territory. Looks like I'm okay with that. Guess I should have bought a bigger chip. This teleport will get us the rest of the way. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, there's Ferris. We're gonna go talk to him. We're gonna claim our uh, evade reward. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you for the evade boost. Again, we can take that in, in 23 hours from now. That'll reset. We can go ahead and do that again. And then in here is the normal mission terminal. It's where they moved the rest of the, the dailies that used to be outside the uh, Guardian Village at that Fisher guy. And uh, this is the one we're currently working on. Home. We got a little bit of perception there. Then... Let's look and see what this challenge got us. There's a reward. Oh, claim reward. What do we got? Um, we could take the perception. That's always nice. But I think I'm going to take melee combat. I don't do a lot of that. And so it's hard for me to raise up that skill. And I'm pretty sure melee combat's a hit point skill. I don't want to get quoted on that. But I'm pretty sure. And I'm going to take it. Worth having even if it's not. All right. And there we have it. Kill 100 Bari, Codexed, double dip the skill rewards, couple of globals. Epic day today. Hope everyone is having an equally epic day.